all right guys so in this video we are gonna talk about email events automation what i'm saying is if you have a workflow where you have uh, a bunch of emails stacked and uh, you are using different weight triggers and delaying the time between uh, two emails and you have about like 10 or 15 or whatever like a lot of emails in a workflow uh, what you can do is you can track the email events like uh, for example if somebody opened it or if somebody clicked on it or if the email bounced or if it was like you know uh, reported as spam or anything like that you can track all those activities I don't know if you know this but this is what we are gonna talk about in this video so I have a pipeline called email campaign what the use case here is um, I'm gonna based on their different email event activities I'm going to move them to different pipelines so this is just a simple automation i'm performing but it can be really powerful if you know how to use it so let's create a workflow and i'm going to start from scratch i'm going to say email event automation now let's search for email events so the first filter we're going to do is in the workflow. So what workflow are we using to track this automation? So based on uh, what you can create or what you have created, let's say in landing page automation workflow, I have a bunch of emails I'm sending to different people and I want to track their email activities. What are they doing with the emails? So I'm saying in workflow landing page automation and I'm saying event is opened. This workflow will be performing this automation that I'm going to set up whenever in this workflow, a user or a lead has opened an email. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an opportunity for that particular lead in my email campaign pipeline. So I'm going to say in opened. So I'm moving that user to a stage called open uh, in my email campaign pipeline. Uh, whenever there's an uh, whenever the user has opened my email right similarly when uh, a user has clicked on any of the links I can move that lead to clicked right or you can just send another email thank you for clicking or it, it would be really creepy to send something like that but you get the idea right so you based on your marketing psychology you can perform anything you want my job is to you know tell you that this can be done or this is possible through the crm so that's what i'm doing similarly if uh, it's bounced which is uh, a trigger for mailgun only it, I, I don't think they have launched it for you know lead connector email so if you're using mailgun you can use this if the email is bounced what you can do with it uh, opened unsubscribed clicked anything so you can perform different kinds of automations based on email events in a particular workflow mm -hmm. 